Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Outback Expedition. And we are at the Dingo Dig site, where we have just added in a couple beautiful new dingoes, which I am very excited about and cannot wait for our guests to be able to come over and enjoy. And as you can see, they're hanging out at what is a, you know, a fossil dig site that we've got set down. Uh, what kind of fossils? Well, fossils is a strong word. A bone dig site, most likely of some cattle who died at some nearer point in the past. And we're going to be doing some research on those guys, kind of, uh, while the dingoes run around, which I think is just so much freaking fun. But they have literally just arrived and have been waiting for you guys to come back and join us so we could go ahead and give them a couple names. So let's go ahead and grab them. And we're actually going to name this one Liv. So Liv, welcome. She is our female. She is actually of a yellow-orange sandy fur coloration. She's about mid-sized for a dingo. She has a little bit of longevity. She's not the healthiest, but she's not super, uh, super unhealthy either. And her fertility is kind of middling, so it's really going to have our fingers crossed to make sure that we can uh, hopefully hopefully have more and then we're gonna pop over and this guy is actually going to be renamed to paris which is just such a fun name <laughs> maybe he has like a sassy way about him of charming uh, some of the people and the, the people just decided to call him paris okay so that's, that's so much fun but paris and Liv will be the new pack here who will hopefully attract many many people to them and will hopefully be very healthy and happy have many pups i'm looking forward to seeing the future of their adventures and we definitely need to make sure that they are added into the work zone by the way okay oh and this needs to be in the work zone too what the heck all right, there we go. And speaking of work zones, I think it's about time to add in a, another, another spot. We need to add in another keeper area, but instead of putting in like one of these fancy ones, I kind of want to put in like another shack. <laughs> I want to put in like one of these hut things over here and then put a keeper house inside of it because it just goes oh, we should have like a little outhouse area back here that'd be hilarious to have just like a couple little outhouses oh my gosh i actually love that idea uh and i do want to make it so that people can walk a small thin path down along here and then they can be part of this huge tunnel that we're supposed to have over here all right and before i forget let me go ahead and add in a water trough for these guys so that they have something to drink. Uh, we'll put it over here to kind of like indicate that they're constantly coming and searching around in the bones, which is pretty fun. Uh, but let's do that real quick because I want to make it easier for my keepers to be able to take good care of them. And I think it'd be really funny if I could actually find a way. There we go. I do think it'd be really, really funny if I could actually find a way to make like a little outhouse like thing back here. And we do need to find a way to get a path through the secret tunnel. So give me just a second. I was working on that last time. And once we get inside here, whoops, then suddenly the terrain is too uneven for placement. Why? Maybe it needs to go up a little more? I don't think so. But we're gonna we're gonna try things out a little bit. Cause okay, maybe I need to like push. Does it need to be out a little bit more? So that people can like walk through here? Because I wanted to make a cool secret tunnel. All right, let's see. How about this? What, how is this too uneven for placement? It's fine here. And then when we get to this part, all of a sudden we're having a bit of a fit. Okay. Bear with me, friends. Aha! I think I see the problem. We're going to flatten. We'll just make the tunnel a little wider midsection. Because why not? It's my tunnel. We can do what we want with it. There we go. And if I need to make a smaller path to be able to come through here, then so be it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <gasps> Alright, it's not going to be the big path I was hoping for. But maybe one day we can actually exchange that for a larger path uh, and that will be much nicer. And at least once we get out of the tunnel, 
Okay, let's replace that. At least once we get out of the tunnel, we can immediately like launch into gigantic path mode where people can come out and come see the animals and hopefully, let's shrink it down a little. There we go. Yeah, come see the dig site, come see the animals, and then hopefully also like visit a shop of some kind. I don't know what kind of shop yet, but I, I would love to put like a, a fun little shop back here too. There we go. All right, that's a good start to something. I don't know exactly where we're going with that, but we're going somewhere. Uh, and let's see what the small toilets actually look like for people. Cause I think that'd be really funny to put in like this teeny, like we could do the little African small toilet. Has anyone made something that just looks like an outhouse bathroom yet? Cause I think that'd be really funny. This gets kind of close to it, but I want, I want like the shanty shack thing. Kind of close to what I'm talking about. Maybe, maybe we can just put a toilet block. <gasps> we could probably, yes, we could probably fit a toilet block just straight into one of these little huts and just kind of change the hut up a little bit. So I'm gonna put maybe this one over here for a keeper. All right, we'll see what we can do. This one over here is going to be the keeper hut, which means we're gonna remove it being a vet spot. And while we're over here, let's actually change up a few things about it. Because we can, we can change the color of these walls, which I think is just awesome. So of course I'm going to come in and we're going to make them green. <laughs> All right, and then, oh, that's like greeny green. Let's try for more of, yeah, let's go for that green. There we go. And then come over here. Nice green color. Come back here. Nice green color. I love that. I love that you can change the colors and make like all of these really fun shipping containers. Oh geez, we have a lot of people over here. We should probably go ahead and put down... <laughs> Why hello friends! Glad to see you. Do be sure to drop your donations into these bins please. You know, if you, if you like what you see at the dig site, uh, pony up. <laughs> there we go. And we'll give the dingoes something to play with in just a second soon, too, guys. Don't worry. You just can only do so much at once. Alright, staff facility. I want to put a new keeper hut, small one, right in here. Oh, that's so fun! Okay, I think that's good. Almost. Alright, let's see. Move this up. Move it over a little. There we go. How fun is that? And then let's go ahead and we're going to put down, let's put the toilets down first and we'll have our very first <laughs> toilet zone. Um, it's not gonna be a super fancy pretty one. I want it to just legitimately be like a little outhouse because it's a farmy-ish area that we've built. That's what you would have, right? All right, so the kangaroo are having offspring and we're gonna connect it as like loosely as possible right here. I'll have to move some of my precious grass. That's fine. All right, let's exit that. And then we're gonna move some of the grass over and grab this hut. I'll have to change the walls a little bit. Oh, people are immediately like, yay! An outhouse. Yeah, I think we needed these bathrooms. All right. And we'll put this right here. And then we can come over and edit it again. I don't really want a canopy or this back wall <laughs> on an outhouse, but we can try putting down. Okay, come on, there we go. There's that. And then the corrugated walls, that's what we're looking for. Oh, look at all that option. And I guess with the corrugated walls, we want to remove these bits to make like the door. That is so cool that there's like such detail in how you can make these shipping containers. Let's move those bits. And we could just put this and just be like, yeah, it's not house, it doesn't have much to it. Um, we could do like a section, which I think is kind of cool. Huh. How would 
I explain this? An arch? A door? A shop front? A large window? Maybe just the square. Yeah, why not? We'll just like put this square down and we're just gonna be like, yeah, this is the outhouse. This is yeah, what you see is what you get. All right. And you can see an unfortunate amount. And then we're gonna make this outhouse like yellow. That's so much fun. That was so easy. I used to be so scarily intimidated by trying to do stuff like this, guys. No joke. So it's really exciting to be able to come in and change a few things. And I love the plants growing on everything. We're just going to leave that. That's so cool. We made a little outhouse. Also, oh, we need to add in some power. <laughs> okay. All right. We got to get some power down over here. We need to take good care of... Let's see. Power. Let's get solar. We can afford solar because we, we've dragged our feet long enough that we're actually able to afford, like, good solar power. And we can actually afford some good solar power. Um, I, how would I want to hide the solar panels? Maybe? Can I? Oh, that's cute! I don't know why that's cute, but that's cute! Sticking it up on a big old rock like that? Come on. All right, we're putting that there. And yay! All right, so we've got quite a few improvements over here. I need to name a couple of these places. So this is actually, this this outhouse we're just going to call uh, that old outhouse. There we go. And then this is actually going to be, dun dun dun, this is going to be Mikey's. So this is going to be Mikey's secret, um, Mikey's secret saddle collection from Mikey who is actually one of our patrons welcome and thank you Mikey I just was trying to think of something that someone might hide in a hut if they lived on a farm and like this guy just has like really expensive fancy saddles that he has hidden away that he likes to collect over here which really tickles me oh this is so cool I love how we're expanding everything and I can't wait to get like uh who is it it's Haley's Mima's. Haley's Mima's. Uh and we definitely need to call a mechanic to these these fences. Uh Best Bean Salad Shop right over here. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, and let's carry on by making more paths to be able to come on down to the dig site and see what those dingoes are up to. And we can actually take the opportunity, because nobody's standing on any of that, to control. How that all connects up so nicely. Let's shrink that down a little. There. And then now we can put like some pretty plants or something in here, which will be really nice. Uh, and then let's come over and make sure the dingoes have something and the vet research. Huzzah! It's complete on koalas! And paleontologist Jay is now ready to start putting that focus into dingoes just in time, too. All right, and then let's come over and make sure that into the work zone, we go ahead and add the new things we just built. Why do those things not stay in the work zone? I have no idea. Uh, and I think we probably need to put in a, <gasps> we could put in a house back here, like one of Mima's like barns that could be for the larger, um, oh, maybe Mima's barn could be the restaurant. I love that idea. And then we need a house, Mima's house, Haley's Mima's house, that will actually be a rest place for all of our staff because they're really going to start running all over the place again. This is so exciting, guys. I am tickled to pieces about the way that we're adding so much personality into every square inch of what we are building here. And then for our dingoes, let's come in and make them very happy by figuring out what dingoes would like to have. And you know what? I feel like we just have not had enough time to sit and learn about a lot of these animals. So we're also going to like look up what what really makes a dingo tick. I'm curious. And let's put the water pool in this corner because I think that'd be really fun. All right, and what else did I need? So that's some of their toy enrichment. They need a lot of toys. So let's see, what other toys can we give them? A prey scented sack. They could also have some small balls. Let's give them, how about a blood scent marker in the bones? Because they really like smelling what's going on in the bones. So we're gonna give them a couple of those. 
And then we're going to go ahead and we're gonna give them a rotation line feeder for their toy. There we go. And now I think the only thing they really need is a nice hard shelter. And to be honest, I am just loving all of these little shacks. <laughs> Normally I would be like, are you kidding me? But they're actually perfect for the kind of setup that we have got going on over here. So let's actually name one of these shacks after you guys. And this is actually going to be Elizabeth's. So this is gonna be Elizabeth's old, um, old horse resting spot where once upon a time, Elizabeth, part of Haley's family apparently, used to rest her horses right under here while they were out and about taking care of what they needed to on their family's land. It's a lovely touching story. And whenever we come over here, we can remember Elizabeth and her horse. There we go. I love this so much. All right, before I forget about it, let's try to get like Mima's restaurant down over here. So we want to put in Habitat Cleanliness is at risk, huh? These kangaroos! They're just like pooping up a storm to be blunt about it, friends. I think it's time to go ahead and, oh, no work zone. Are you guys Nutter Butters? All of y'all need work zones. There we go. There, all right, everybody has a work zone. And let's hire another keeper, because it is time. We have so many keepers. And this is actually going to be, this is going to be wildlife flower, or wild flower, wild flower um, painter. That sounds quite lovely. Uh, Poppy, and Poppy is actually a, one of our wonderful patrons as well. So excited to have you here. We gotta give her some training so that she'll be able to help take care of everything. So now we have Poppy, and then we have, I need to look over everybody and mark them off my list of amazing people who have come to join us. And thank you guys so much. The patrons, I know I say it all the time because it is deeply true, are the people who help us to keep these adventures going. It is wonky, it is weird, it is not a comfortable time to, to try to bring all these adventures to you guys. And thanks to the people who support us over on Patreon, thankfully we can get through this. I mean, ships, there's been changes to like jobs and it really, 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 really helps. So thank you guys. All right, oh, and there's a baby Oh my gosh! Oh, it's a silver quality baby boy! Oh, Cooper, you must be so proud! Oh, look at him! Cooper does look kind of chill, like, yeah, that's my son. I'm actually gonna name this guy Cooper Jr. I like him a lot. Alright. Oh, and we already have some research done on the dingoes! Yes! There's a lot of research that needs to be done on the dingoes. Alright, but before I, I get distracted, we're gonna come on over and we're gonna add in a food stall. Um, we might need to look at the Australian. Hmm. Yeah, I want, I think I might need to look at the Australian, like, large, um, South American shops. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, I might need to look at the Australian. Oh, <gasps> the sheriff's office. Oh my gosh, that does look just like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. There's even a gel sale. Oh, that's too good. I can't pass that up, friends. I cannot pass that up. Um, we're gonna we're gonna absolutely add this in. This is gonna be Mima's old barn. And if you if you messed with Mima, Mima was the sheriff. Nobody told us Mima was actually the sheriff. <laughs> we're absolutely gonna have this. This is gonna be Mima's old barn. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, and we need to power this place, so um, let's go ahead and we're gonna put in maybe a wind turbine as power. I mean, you know what? Solar is great and can definitely be worked over here somewhere, somehow. So we'll, we're gonna put a solar panel in the hay field and that should have that. Look at that, the lights turned on and everything. Oh my gosh. I may have misjudged where to place this. All right, there, that's a little better, I guess. Oh geez, and the paths, the paths are all messed up and wonky. Hang on one second. 
All right, let's see if I can, there we go. That's amazing. That is, that is amazing. <laughs> see the things that you can get off of the, the gallery and you just don't even, or the, off of the Steam Workshop and you just don't even know it. I didn't realize we had like a gel cell and everything. That is so good. All right, so there's that. Now y'all can actually go ahead and have an opportunity to leave your comments to end up becoming one of Mima's descendants working down in Mima's barn. I love it. Uh, and we're going to come over here. And before I forget about it, and because we are thankfully, oh, so, so thankful, we haven't expanded too fast this time. So we actually have a bit of money. Uh, we're gonna come and add in a larger staff room using the Australian theme. The larger Australian staff room. And this is gonna be Mima's house. There we go. And we're just gonna kinda, how do I wanna do this? Cause I might want some stuff behind, maybe some hayfield behind Mima's place. Yeah, I think I want some hayfield behind Mima's place. And then we'll have like a little dirt path coming from the big path over here. Yeah, we'll do it like this. There we go. And then we're gonna have the big path over yonder. We're actually trying to make this place look a little nicer lately. And I'm really proud. Then a lot of our, our other places are just so haphazardly built. And then we're gonna have a little dirt path coming up this way. Uh, in fact, we're not even gonna, we're not even gonna put markers down, more or less. Okay, you, I think you have to have some markers. And that's gonna be Mima's, Mima's house, where our staff can actually go into. Oh, this is so cute. And then we're gonna add in a whole bunch of hay all around here, and I might put like an old tractor down somewhere, which would be really fun. Uh, but all right, guys, so this is awesome. I love it. We need to make some little paths so that our staff can just directly go and rest in Mima's, <laughs> Mima's place. We're gonna make a new work zone, actually. That's gonna be kind of like this area, just so we have our vendors stay right over here. And this is just gonna be Mima's farm. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. And I just can't wait to see what we do with all of this now, friends. But it is gonna be time. Maybe we can get a whole bunch of cute little like lanterns and lights and we can light the way down to Mima's farm. And we're gonna be expanding this quite a bit more. I am tickled to pieces. This is so much fun. We might have to drop a couple of shipping containers with the exhibit animals over here as well to continue to attract people along. This is so much fun. I'm raising. I, I, I think we have now. Ooh. Yay, that research has gone up. But I think we have now justified a price hike, to say the least. In fact, a, a bit of a bigger price hike. There we go. Come on in, everybody. It's going to be awesome. But all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for Mima's farm. And Mima was the sheriff and nobody told us. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands of more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.